Hey, good morning everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. It's a big day. It's a big day. And January. January is about two things with us. University of Georgia winning the national championship tonight. Well, of course, that's the number one thing. And number two, uh, much less importance, is building your referral business. <laughs> Right, but seriously, let's let's get down to business this morning because it's obvious to everybody that building your number of referrals this year is nowhere even close in importance to Georgia winning the national championship tonight. <laughs> and I think that if we win, that tomorrow might have to be declared a national holiday. What do you think? We left off Thursday emphasizing the importance of using a short weekly video message uh, that you send out to everybody in your database via an embedded email, right? And you might say, I don't know what that is and I definitely don't know how to do it. That's okay, come meet with our marketing director, Rob Hamilton. He can show you in about five minutes how to do it. It's not a big deal. Uh, we learn new skills, right? As professionals, we're learning new skills all the time. And hopefully you're already doing this. You're not waiting. And you know, like I said Thursday, have your specific day and specific time where you create this video message and you send it out to everybody. So let's move on. Today, today I want to talk to you about 10 or more calls every day. Well, how many, Mike? Is it 10? It could be less than 10, I guess. I guess it really depends on how motivated you are. I guess it depends on how motivated you are. I would say this, take the number of transactions you want to do this year, take the number of transactions you want to close this year and divide it in half. And that's how many outbound calls, connections, conversations you should have each day, five days a week. So in this example, if you wanted to close 20 transaction sites this year, then you would make 10 outbound calls and connections each day, five days a week. So we're talking about, uh, in this example, 10 or more calls. Some of you, your goal is higher than that. Uh, to people in your sphere or uh, your community, the community of your life, right? Each of us has a community. Some people call it a sphere or a center of influence. I kind of like the term community because I think that's really more what it is, right? These are friendly calls to stay connected and to stay top of mind with your friends, relatives, maybe it's your neighbors, maybe it's past clients, maybe it's some prospects that you have in your pipeline, uh, your connections, right? Why? To stay in the flow with them, to stay top of mind, to stay the relevant expert in real estate. And these calls, these calls will be friendly in nature and they'll be relatively brief unless, unless the person you're calling wants to talk and then, of course, go through the conversation with them. And those of you that have read the book, The Seven Levels of Communication, they call it frog, right? You focus on family, recreation, occupation, and goals. Ninja adds another one in there. If you've read Ninja Selling, they talk about Ford, right? Family, occupation, recreation, uh, dreams. Um, these are how you connect your, you conduct your calls, right? They can be relatively brief unless the person wants to catch up with you. And then of course do. Uh, two tips that I want to leave you with this morning on these calls. Stay focused on them, not on you. This isn't a call for you to tell them what you've been up to unless they ask. It's a call for you to stay focused on them. And folks, this is the modern way of selling. And it's actually good news for us. Right? The old way of selling was personal promotion. I beat my chest. I tell the world constantly how great and how successful I am. And I fake it till I make it. 
and that doesn't work anymore. Consumer skepticism's at an all-time high. It, you can tell people how great you are, nobody believes it. Do you believe it when other businesses are advertising at you and telling you that they are new and improved and that they're better than everybody else? Do you believe that? No, we ignore it, right? We scroll past it, we move on. So we don't do that anymore because it doesn't work. Personal promotion now has moved from me beating my chest about me to me focusing the spotlight on other people. And I stay in the background. And by helping other people, I am promoting myself. If you like that way of selling, helping other people, doing nice things for other people, helping other people get what they want first, Without regard to me, I'm not trying to get referrals. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give referrals. I'm trying to make connections to other people, for other people, to help other people. I'm not trying to get anything. But the old saying goes, hey Mike, if you'll just help another, enough other people get what they want, you'll be fine. You'll get what you want in return. But if I focus on them and helping them first and not being salesy and not being braggart, not beating my own chest, not showing everybody glamorous pictures about me or my lifestyle or any of that. No, putting the focus on other people. So I want these calls to be focused on them. Number two, it would be great if you can come up with a relevant reason of why you're calling them today. And if that reason was just to simply to help them. Hey, Bill, I'm calling you today. This is Mike. I'm calling you today to let you know this or to make sure you are aware of that. So the call might go something like this. Hey, Bill, this is Mike Pruitt. Mike, how you doing today? I'm doing fine, Bill. You just uh, came through my mind this morning and I realized, gosh, I hadn't spoken to you in a long time. So I just wanted to reach out and make sure you were doing okay. Yeah, Mike, I'm doing fine. Okay, great. Hey, here's the other reason I'm calling. I wanted to make sure you knew that the Georgia game starts at 730 tonight. Gosh, Mike, I wasn't sure what time it was going to start. Thanks for calling me. I don't want to miss that. That's going to be the event of a lifetime. Yes, I think so too, Bill. It's great talking to you. Let's catch up again soon. Okay, now obviously I'm playing a little bit here, but I think you get the point, right? Reach out. Divide how many deals you want to do this year. Divide it by two. That's how many outbound calls you need to make each day. Well, what should I say? Be nice to people. Focus on them. Family, relationship, occupation. Family, recreation, occupation, and goals. Focus on them, their family, their occupation, their recreation, their goals. And number two, have a reason that would help them for your call today. Well, I can't think of anything. That's what people that don't want to do it say. Well, I couldn't think of anything. And I call that intellectual laziness. Well, didn't you just let yourself off the hook? The answer to I couldn't think of anything was think of something. You're a smart, grown-up person. Think of something. And if you really are stuck, you've got writer's cramp, Come see me. I think between the two of us, we can help you come up with something. Here's your tips for today. What do you think? If we went out and did that today, would we be going out there and making it happen for ourselves today? Rough, rough. <laughs>